Hey everybody, welcome back to the shop for 10 more action packed minutes of Thunder Chief building action. Alright, I've been busy today, people. I'm gonna work my tail off. That one is all done, it's trimmed and uh, ready to put together. I figure I'd save one of these trim jobs and let y'all watch. Okay, now see on that back part? Remember how I did that? Okay, I just butted my glass up to it and then uh, trim my big pieces short so I wouldn't have to trim that back edge right now. See what the problem is when you get all them layers on there and you gotta trim it after it's set up, it's just rough, man. And uh, that's where I've always had my hardest time trimming. But uh, that just took it out, that just made it easy right there. You know, and uh, now they got a few fibers and a little bit of epoxy on that edge. I'm just gonna, I'm gonna go ahead and trim it off. Just run my tape right under, or my razor blade right under the tape. Then you get all them layers, and then you're cutting it at an angle. Well, that's just worse. Yeah, that makes it even thicker when you're cutting it at an angle. It's just real hard to cut it. You know, and that back edge is nice, but this is going to work out fantastic. It worked better than I hoped. So you got a nice clean edge there. And right here, that's six layers thick, people. And I used four, why did I be putting four layers in here? I want that mold really firm or that plug. So it's like six layers right here at the end. I know that back part ain't going nowhere. Then even more yet up in this corner because I had this piece overlapping. And so this is big time thick here. I'm actually going to have to cut down some of the, some of the thickness. Then my mold will come together all the way. See, yeah, it's, it's not quite dry all the way. If you let it dry all the way, then you'll have a real hard time trimming it. You've got to get it at that state where it's a little bit soft yet. And it can just be trimmed with razor blades. Wait for it to get hard, and I've uh, actually had to scrap parts because I couldn't trim them. Back in my nacelles, remember when I was doing my nacelles? I actually had to, I let them set up all the way and ended up throwing them parts away, making new ones. And as far as my painting in the mold goes, I think I don't think these are going to look super fantastic, but like I say, we're just practicing here. I think if I use my airbrush, it'll look a lot better. But let's see how we find out, right? I'd rather find out on something that I wasn't planning on use it anyway and welcome back to that let me get the rest of this trip while well, y'all still watching before my 10 minutes is up these edges are really pretty easy just take my exacto See, it's 
still just a little bit on the rubbery side. Take the tape off. Look at that nice clean edge you got there. I'm gonna take my razor blade and kind of make sure everything's nice and flush. And then tonight after dinner, I'm gonna barbecue the wife with steaks, make some tater salad. Then we're going to I'm going to glue these halves together. Tomorrow we'll pull them apart. all over my hands and uh, it's soft enough for razor blade to still cut it just gotta hit that window man These are six layers of fiberglass. That is way more than I, I mean four layers. That is way more than I'd ever use on a wing. A wing I'd probably do two, three layers of six ounce. Know, but uh, we do, we don't want this deforming. We want this nice and stiff. These are going to be my master plugs. And six layers, dang near make these or four layers, dang near make these things bulletproof, man. <laughs> 